Hey guys, welcome back to another PineScript video tutorial series video. And today in this video, we're gonna talk about arithmetic operators in PineScript. Okay, we're gonna look at how you can use those arithmetic operators in your PineScript code and how you can execute them and get your desired results. So without any further ado, let's get started. Also, please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you will be the first one to know whenever we upload new content. So let's get on with the video. So here, you can see that there are basically five arithmetic operators in PineScript. Those arithmetic operators are addition, sub subtraction, multiplication, division, and modulus. Okay, so these are all common operators that are used in programming languages, in other programming languages as well. So you, if you know about any other programming languages, you might be familiar with them. But in this video, we're going to go through the detail and talk about how you can use these operators in PineScript and how you can get your desired results that you want and do your calculations okay so here we have first the addition and subtraction which we are going to focus in this video okay and then we have multiplication division and modulo which we're going to cover in our next video okay so here are some examples of addition and subtraction so here you can see that this is basically our variable int4 and in this variable what we're assigning is we're assigning it a value of 2 plus 2. So both the re these values are integers and that's why our this integer is a constant integer with a value of 4 okay. And here you can see that this integer is our integer 0 and what we're doing is we're subtracting 2 from 2 and assigning that to our integer 0 okay. So this is also our constant integer which has a value of zero okay and then we have the float okay in our float variable what we're doing is we're adding 2.0 with 2.0 with a addition symbol okay so so what our float value is for this variable is 4.0 all right and in the same manner what we're doing is we're giving our float this float variable a value of 2 minus 2 or 2.0 minus 2 specifically which gives it a value of 0, 0.0 okay so this is our constant float with a value of 0, 0.0 there's also a float integer so whenever we add an integer and a float the result will always be a float value okay so if we add integer 2 with int uh, float 2.0 the result will always be integer 4.0 so there's one thing that you have learned that whenever we add integer with a float the result will always be a float so here we have assigned the value of float 4.0 to this float integer okay and then we also have the series float in which we add a series with the integer okay so here you can see that this is our close which is basically a series as you can see from here as well and the values of close are always float okay they are not integer they are always float so what we're doing is we're assigning a float and addition of integer to this series float variable so what will happen is we will get a series which will have a value of every value of this closed series plus four so every value from the closed series will have an addition of four towards it okay and this series float will have every value increased by four okay now let's talk about the na variable that we will be using in our code as well okay so if one operand is na then the result will be na just like if one operand is float in a float and integers the result will be float okay so here if one operand is na the result will always be na okay so so here we have a variable always na okay and what we're doing is we're assigning it a value of 2 plus na now na is a double nan value or not a number value this is basically an empty variable okay so we're assigning this always na a very value of 2 plus na now if we plot this na what we will get is we'll get a value of na and no matter what we do even if we multiply it or divide it any operation that we do with an a variable in it or any expression that has a very vari na variable in it the result will always be na okay so let me just plot this 
and save and add to chart so here you can see that the plot and a there okay in in our right box which you will see here that there is plot and a which so our always and a gave us a value of plot and a okay plot is equal to na so basically it plotted nothing on the chart okay and then we have string concatenation on, and it only works with addition operator or a plus operator and we can add two strings as well and what we can do to add these two strings is use the plus operator so here we have the string one which is current and the string two which is basically range okay so now what we do is we do the concatenation okay and we add string one plus string two what this will do is assign this variable concatenation a string value of current range which will be basically the addition of this current and range okay so let me just go ahead and plot and let me just plot the close and we're gonna give it title of title of concatenation okay and concatenation okay so now if i save it and if i let me just comment this so now if i save it and add this to chart you can see that it basically plots pl uh, plotted the current range all right you can see that this is a one word so what we need to do is we need to add a space here okay so let me just save it and add this to chart and you can see the current range plotted okay here you can see the current range so what we did is basically we added these two strings by using a plus operator so i hope you like this video if you have any questions please comment down below and i would love to answer them and in our coming video we're gonna talk about the multiplication and the vn operator and also talk about the modulo operator so please make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you will be the first one to know whenever we upload new content in future and also you can visit our website www.forexb.co in order to learn more about forex and price action and price script see you guys in the next video thank you